If you're seeing flashes of light or hallucinations or shapes just before you go to sleep or, you know, at any point during the night, that is called sleep hypnagogia. And it's a really powerful sleep stage, which just like the sleep transition between being awake and being asleep and entering a dream. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually follow those hallucinations into a dream directly. And of course, this will be a lucid dream. If you already know how to lucid dream, this is a powerful technique. If you don't know how to lucid dream, this is gonna work either way. So here's how it works. I'm just gonna describe sleep hypnagogia firstly, because you might not know how this feels and how it works. You're laying down, your eyes are closed, and what you'll experience is kind of like shapes colors, maybe like a spiral pattern appearing in your eyelids. This happens usually after about 20 minutes of you laying there trying to fall asleep. So it really does depend on how tired you are, of course, but that's what usually is gonna happen. So how do you follow that into a lucid dream? Well, here's what you do. At this point, you need to bear in mind, if you lose your focus on this, you will either fall asleep or you won't be able to sleep. There's really no in between. You need to keep your focus on, and this is the key part, letting the hypnagogia happen around you without looking specifically at any one point of the hypnagogia. Say if you're experiencing this and you see like a line or a spiral pattern, if you try and focus your eyes on a specific part of that hypnagogia image, on that hallucination, it will usually dissolve and you won't be able to see it anymore. You'll either keep yourself awake or you won't focus enough and you'll just fall asleep. And then, you know, you won't have a lucid dream in the first place. So what I would suggest to do, and by the way, if you meditate during the day, this massively helps with this because you're better able to focus on something for you know, a period of time. You're better able to concentrate on something uh, without falling asleep and losing interest. So meditate during the day. And then when you actually come to experiencing the hypnagogia at night, when you're actually seeing the shapes and colors you know, around you and in your eyelids and, and all of that crazy stuff, focus on trying to take things in without looking at a specific point. So you can practice this during the day as well. Just try and sort of relax your gaze. So you're not looking at anything in particular, but you are taking in details around, you know, your peripheral vision and, and around you where you are sitting or standing. So if you find it hard to relax your gaze, that's fine. So do it like this, okay? Let's say I'm sitting here now and I'm looking out into my garden and I can just focus on a point in the distance. Let's say uh, the, the chair, the deck chair that's, that's there in the garden, okay? So I will just focus on that point. I will directly stare at the deck chair and I will allow my senses, my eyes, to take in all of the information around that one point that I'm looking at, okay? So I can notice and start to be more aware of everything around it without actually looking at the things around the point that you're looking at. I hope this makes sense. Anyway, that's how you practice it during the day. Now, eventually, you wanna to get to the point where you can take in all of the stuff that's going on around you with your peripheral vision without looking or focusing on any specific one point. And this takes a bit of practice. At first, you won't be able to do that. So in that case, just focus on one point and then take in the information around it. After you you can do that then try and focus on no specific point just try and relax your gaze you know go sort of blurry eyed i can't really explain how it feels and or looks but you'll know what i mean when you experience it and try and then take in the information all around where you're sitting what you can see that there is the exact motion or feeling that you want to try and do when you're having sleep hypnagogia and so what will happen is when you do that you will enter a lucid dream if you just do that if you relax your gaze take in the information that's going on around you so it might be like a spiral here shapes lines coming at you all of this stuff take it in without looking or focusing at a specific point let's say five minutes of doing that, you will enter a lucid dream because, and this is by the way, how the wild technique kind of works. There's a bit of change, you know, a few variations, but that's how it works. And by the way, I have a tutorial of that on my channel. But the way it works is that, yeah, you just follow the hallucinations into a dream. And if you try and look at a specific point too soon, too early, the whole dream will collapse and you'll have to start again from the beginning. However, if you practice this during the day, if you practice, like I said, the focusing on a point, taking everything in around you, it will be a hundred thousand times easier for you, I promise you that. 